Today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to install a micro SD card right here uh, into a uh, Chromebook. So I bought my uh, Lenovo um, IdeaPad uh, Flex 5 Chromebook uh, about a month ago and I want it does it has 64 gigs of storage that it came with which isn't much so I want to add 256 gigs that's what this micro SD card has. I'm also going to show how to uh, save a document or, or files or whatever you want to save to it. Uh, I'll do a demonstration on that also. So uh, first thing I bought, um, I did some research on uh, micro SD cards. I bought the um, Samsung, um, it's called the Evo uh, Select uh, 256, uh, 256 gig um, micro SD card. It does it does come with, or well, this one came with a um, an adapter here, and this adapter is you put the micro SD card in here, and now it's a standard SD card that I could use to take files from. This is my MacBook Air. It has a standard uh, micro SD slot, and I could put that in there and transfer files to it. Take it out. Well, eject it first, the proper way. Um, that wasn't on, so and then just pull this out and then plug it into here. So um, this is the package that it came in. Um, it's pretty good. It has uh, one thing I would recommend. You want a good transfer rate on it. Um, so look at all that stuff and do research on it before you buy it. But that's this is not exactly what the video is about. It's the type of card to buy. Um, well, that's how to install and use it. So my Chromebook comes with a slot over here. Um, so let me see that. There we go, you can see it there. To put a micro SD card in there. So, if you put the micro SD card in, you do it face up, pop it in there, and it goes in there, and it's it just sticks out a bit, a little bit, but that's okay. Um, it's actually supposed to do that, so it snaps in, snaps out. Uh, but you can't take it out unless you do it properly, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So to show you that it's in, come over here, I want to go to files, but you can go to files. I've opened it already, so it's down here, but you can um, go up and find it here. So, and then you come down, you see everything over here, um, your My Files, Downloads, um, and then you see micro SD card down here. Well, it just says SD card, but I can click on that. Um, it already has this on here, and I'm assuming that it loads this on here. Um, for uh, to recognize the card and stuff, I'm assuming anyways. I actually don't know, I'm gonna have to look that up. But anyways, to eject this though, right here you'll see a uh, eject button. You have to hit that in order to take the micro SD card out. So now I can take it out. Uh, you don't wanna do it without doing that. Um, otherwise you can corrupt data and stuff, so. Um, I also have here a thumb drive. You can use something like this as well. This is a 256, I actually did a review on this one of my videos, 256 um, gigabyte, um, oh, I might have called them megabytes earlier, but the gigabytes, uh, thumb drive I call them, so um, USB drive, so I can plug that in, and again, this is going to recognize it too, and this is the same, it's the same sort of thing, uh, you're going to go to files, so I'm going to hit files in here, and you can see it recognizes it down here, so if I hit this, if I want to see how much space I have on here, I actually saved my YouTube videos on this thumb drive. So let's see what I got here. It tells down below. It'll tell you I have 196.5 gigabytes available. So, and that's how I can actually tell how much I have available on my, the hard drive that came with uh, my Chromebook, which doesn't have much. I mean, it has available up to the operating system and whatever files are installed. It's 43.3 um, gigs available. All right, let's let's do this now. I don't close things like this for now. So we'll leave, we'll leave the uh, thumb drive in there. I'm going to put the micro SD card again. Just put that in. It's real easy to pop, pop in place. And let's see. We're going to go to files. My cat is actually trying to get in the door. So now you see that it has the USB drive up top here. And then below that, it has the um, SD card. So 
right now I put a file on here um, just a, it's a just a JPEG um, I put over here just to show you how to transfer so this is on the hard drive of the actual computer itself so this computer has that file on here I want to put it on the micro SD card so all I have to do is I can do one of two things I can copy and paste it or I can just cut it go to the SD card and paste it if I wanted to put it into a folder so it's right there if I pulled it up actually I'll show you how well I can double click and pull it up there we go it's a picture okay so that's on there um, I can also do uh, one drive to another drive too I can copy it from you know I take a YouTube video from here and I could copy it to the computer or I could copy it over to the SD drive so it's easy to maneuver around that way um, if you are opening up a document, say you were working a document or a spreadsheet or something like that and you wanted to save it to the micro SD card, uh, let's go and do that. So, uh, we can go into uh, the docs either through here, I have it down here on um, right over here so I don't have to go searching around for it and I actually have one that's already, I already did this one, it's just called I named it test uh, space 2021 and it just says test in it. I don't have cloud drive so I'm not, well I'm not using cloud drive I'll say. So I'm using everything, storing it locally. Uh, but I do want to make backups of everything so, and that's one thing about having external storage device or having a micro SD card installed gives you more storage, so on and so forth. Um, so I want to go to file, I want to save this to my micro SD card I want to come to the download and I'm just gonna pick Microsoft Word it doesn't really uh, matter what you whatever you want to open it with uh, there's PFDs and whatever so I'm gonna do this it's gonna open it up uh, it's trying to well actually ask you where to you want to put it SD card and save okay it's telling me it's saved and everything Let's close this out. And go to files again. That's going to show me all the stuff. So if I go to the um, micro SD card, it's going to show me it's there. So it's pretty easy uh, to do that so far. Uh, I'm still exploring what I can do with the Chromebook. Um, I'm actually trying to replace. Um, my uh, MacBook Air with the uh, my Lenovo um, Flex 5 Chromebook and so I wanted to have the 250 I wanted to store stuff locally so I needed 256 um, gigs of hard drive because that's what I have in my MacBook Air so that's what I wanted to have in this so um, that's about it if I wanted to delete these files let's say I wanted to just um, I don't know, we'll just delete, we'll delete both of them. I don't need any of them right now. So I could just go here and just hit delete, obviously, and then it's, okay, there we go. And to see how much, this is the micro SD card, let's see what's on there. You can see that it has uh, 238.7 gigabytes available. So easy, you can format the drive from here. You could do all sorts of things from here. So those are the three buttons up here, or three dots up here to the right. And that's just, I just wanted to do a, a quick video on this um, just to show how to install the SD card, micro SD card in here to give you more uh, uh, memory um, on in your Chromebook so you don't have to use a cloud drive if you don't want to or if you need more space. Um, also, you can also use a, um, again, you can use a, a thumb drive, a um, USB drive if you want to. But to eject them, so I'm going to eject the USB drive. So I want to get rid of that one, but I'll leave the micro SD card in there. So it's safe now to eject it. There we go. All done. That's about it for this video. And um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If uh, you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And um, I'll do some more stuff with this and see what else I can come up with. Um, so far, the computer is working out excellent, so I'm very happy with it. That is about it for today.